Hello guys, welcome to this uh, new video. This one is a requested question uh, for question number 20. That is paper May, June 2014, paper 1, 2, okay? So the diagram shows the speed time graph for 100 seconds of a car's journey. Now, the car accelerates uniformly from a speed of V, so he began at V and then went to 3V in 50 seconds. He then continues at constant speed. As you can see, it is constant. Now, moving on to question part A, find in terms of V, so in terms of V, the acceleration of the car in the first 50 seconds. Now, if you observe, here we have, if you do this right here, from V, so he began accelerating from V to 3V. Now, what is this distance? You will say this is 50, right? And what is this one? This is 2V. So to find the acceleration, as you guys know by now, we have to look at our right angle triangle and take is equal to height divided by base. That will be V over 25. Or if you want to, you can simplify that in terms of decimal place. So you can write V over 25. Or if you want to, you can write, let's say you want to make this become decimal. You can multiply by 2 here. Multiply by 2 here, you will have 4V over 100, which is 0.04V. Up to you. You can choose this or this as your answer. It is in terms of V. Okay. Now for part B, the car travels 2,500 meters during the 100 seconds, find the value of V. So we have to use this information to find the value of V. So whenever you're given a speed time graph, you have to know that the distance travel is equal to, so distance travel is equal to area under graph. That's the most important thing we need to know when working with speed time graph. Now, we can break this down into two parts. If you observe, if you continue this line, on the base we will have a, uh, a rectangle of height or width V and base will be 100. Right, so what is the area of this rectangle? That will be, um, so length which is 100 times V. Plus, we have to find the area of this shape. This is a trapezium with these two are parallel and this is the height in between. So formula is half times sum of parallel sides. This is 100 plus this is 50 and times the height is 2V. Okay, so let's rewrite this down here. Distance traveled is equal to area under graph. And from my graph, I can see we have 100V for the rectangle plus half of 150 times 2v for the trapezium and that should give you this value which is 2500 now we can simplify 2 2 goes away now we have 100v plus 150v that should give you 250v is equal to 2500 now v is equal to 10 that is your value of v now moving on to part c find the speed of the car in km per hour when t equal to 75 so t equal to 75 it will be about this value right in between 50 and 100 now at this value the speed was equal to if you observe it was equal to 3v right so what is 3v so 3 times v is 10 that will be 30 meters per second so we have to convert this to km per hour so in this case there's always a shortcut to doing this but I like to use uh, simple steps and using logic for example this means in one second you travel three zero meters now in one hour you have 60 minutes and in 60 minutes you have three six zero zero seconds so how much would you travel in three six zero zero seconds you would do 30 times three six zero zero now this is meters of course we have to convert that to uh, km so we have to divide by 
1000. Make it become KM. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 cancel out. So you will have 3 times 36 for your answer. So in one hour, so this is one hour, right? One hour, which is 3600 seconds is equal to 3 times 36. And that should give you 3 times 6, that is 18. 3 times 3 is 9, that should be 10. So your value will be 108 km per hour. Okay. And that will be your question for this um, kinematics question. And I hope that was somewhat helpful. As always, um, if you guys have any other questions, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. On this note, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.